Dang. Oh, we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my mom and Hurricane fans. Now, this video is not for everybody. You can believe what you want to believe, and that's cool, and that's cool. Like I told you guys, everything that I hear, I tell you guys. Now, this is probably one of those things that I should probably let it ride out, see what's going to happen. Not even make this video, but you know what? I feel like I'll be doing you guys a dishonor. Now, some of you guys will agree, and some of you guys will disagree with some of the things that will be said in this video, and that's cool, and that's cool. We're all entitled to our, to our opinions. Please don't attack me. I won't attack you. And if you attack me, I'm not going to attack you back. So it is, it is what it is. So before we go any further, guys, please hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Um, also, the schedule uh, moving forward with the live shows will be uh, Monday night, Miami Monday, um, Seminole Wednesday, and Gator Fridays. I'll be doing those live shows like that. Um, some of you guys, you know, want it to be separate. Some of you guys don't really like the other teams and you'd rather have your, have a night where we could, you know, talk Canes football and without the Gators and um, Seminole stuff. Some of y'all like that. So you guys know on Sundays, we'll do a recap show of all college football. So we can talk about all of them on that Sunday show. But anyways, let's get to the nitty gritty. What y'all came here for? Let me, let me go ahead and say this. This coaching um, search, coaching, hiring, and all that kind of shit, it's a shit show. It's a shit show. A lot of shit show. A lot of shit show. Yes, it's a shit show, 100%. Now, let's start off with the first domino, Josh Gaddis. Josh Gaddis. Josh Gaddis, basically, you, you guys saw the offense this year. You saw that it was awful, terrible. Um, I must say... 100% not on Gaddis. Not on Gaddis. Now, he had a lot to do with it, but it was a collective collective, to, collective of things to blame. There was a lot of injuries. There was, um, you know, the talent talent issue, you know, we thought we had versus what we got. Players not buying in, all that good stuff. Um, It was said that basically they all came together. Everybody knew it was a collective things. That caused the offense to look as terrible as it did. Don't nobody, I, I promise you, nobody here is going to say this offense was good last year or didn't look as terrible. It was terrible. But when it comes down to it, when it comes to talk to the people that provide the the, the fundings, the blame went to Gaddis. The blame went to Gaddis. It was an, um, a collective thing, as everybody had, um, you know, said before. So, what does Gaddis do? Take a mental mental break. Take a vacation, a mental vacation, and never came back. Never came back. Basically, Gaddis played us. He played us. Stayed at home, you know, waited until they fired him, basically. Buy out that contract. Buy out his contract. <sighs> Three years, six mil, four-year buyout. Okay, cool. So now Gaddis is out. Boom. Um, Ponce. The pawn situation, Ponce never really had any say so in anything to do with that offense. Um, basically, man, Gaddis was bumping heads with everybody. You know, it was his way or the highway kind of thing. And it, you know, it comes with the territory when you um basically brought in your own quarterback coach. Yes, Gaddis brought in his own quarterback coach. Mario had already hired Ponce. Ponce, you know how that goes. Uh, Miami basically hired mostly all their staffs before they even hired the defensive coordinator. So if you're trying to bring your guy in and somebody's already there, well, that's tough. That's tough. Um, Ponce, as you guys know, um, him and Gaddis weren't getting along. At the end of the year, he he hit up um, App State and said, "Yo, let me go back. Let me go. Let me come back." And they they accepted him with open arms. One contract we don't have to really worry about. Then you have um, the situation. Let's switch to the defensive side because obviously um, Alabama swooped in and grabbed Steele. Okay, cool. Now, Charlie Strong, Charlie Strong. Can we all admit that Charlie Strong have an extended history when it comes to coaching? Now, he was our linebackers coach. Some of you guys wouldn't want to 
promote him, you guys will want somebody fresh or a flashy name or, you know, something like that to replace the defensive coordinator in, in Kevin Steele. So Mario does his interviews. Um, this one was, you know, pretty quick. I'm pre pretty sure behind the scene, they already knew that um, that buddy was leaving, um, Steele was leaving. So hiring um, Lance was a quick thing, it was a quick thing. We saw it happen within 24 hours of the announcement of Kevin Steele leaving. So, Charlie Strong now didn't even get an interview. Didn't even get an interview. A man of his status and structure and all that, you know, history in college football, didn't get an interview. Not even an interview. Okay, so cool. Charlie said, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. I'm not going to return as the quarter at the uh, linebacker's coach. I'm going to do you guys a favor. I'm going to eat this contract. I'm out. I quit. Basically, he left. So, that's a good thing. But a bad thing at the same time, because how do you not give this man an interview? Not even an interview. I mean, even if you didn't give him a job, at least an interview. It's the principle, Smokey. But here's where it gets um, tricky. Now, obviously, my guy um, Lance coming in, from what I'm hearing. Now, guys, um, everything in this video is said is allegedly. I'm not trying to ruffle no feathers. I'm not trying to, you know, get no nothing wrong or whatever so everything is allegedly um so here here come lance now lance got his own guy lance lance is gonna bring somebody with him a db's coach a db's coach now lance himself is a db's coach he's gonna be the um defensive coordinator but he's also a db's coach so here was here's the issue if lance is coaching safeties his db's coach is gonna coach what cornerbacks corners so who's coaching corners currently Jamila Day the question now is will Jamila Day be retained and and you know um stay on the staff I doubt it you probably see some announcements soon or some some shaking up will happen but the verdict's not out on that now who else? Who else? Who else did, did I touch base on everything? Who else? Um, obviously, some of the guys are are pretty much untouchable. Like some of the the coaches, they're locked in on um so many contracts that you can't fire everybody. Or if you you coming in as an offensive coordinator, you can't get rid of everybody, or you can't bring certain people. So obviously, right now on the defensive side, we need a linebackers coach. That's for sure. Then on the offensive side, we need the offensive the, the positions that are open are offensive coordinator, uh, wide receivers coach, and quarterbacks coach. So the offensive coordinator will have to be either a wide receivers coach or a quarterbacks coach, pretty much like what Gaddis was a wide receiver and um and a OC, and basically you know quarterbacks coach was supposed to be Ponce, but really it was going to Gaddis his guy behind the scene. Now. Firing Gaddis basically cost us. Now you got to bring in an offensive coordinator on top of that to pay him pretty much the same or almost um, more. That's where the issue comes. That's where it's taking so long to hire somebody, guys. A lot of guys don't see the security net in Miami. A lot of these um, candidates, they need to be paid. So you're paying Gaddis, and then you're going to have to pay somebody almost the same. It, it, it's, it's tough. Now, most of the candidates that we're seeing, they pretty much want to get paid what Gaddis was getting paid. So now you got to pay Gaddis. It's a double salary right now for the offensive coordinator. So that's why it's taking so long. Now, if you don't see Miami get a flashy name at um, offensive coordinator, it's 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 cost effective guys it's cost effective you know what i said enough i said enough um like share subscribe to i'm out i'm done i'm i said enough we'll we'll see it we'll watch it play out i'm not gonna say nothing else um y'all have a good day adios